Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just going to talk about uh, EQ tips in uh, Ozone 5. So the EQ, um, we have to understand, is just two modes, analog and digital. And then each of those has a uh, uh, mid-side uh, processing or left-right or stereo. or Yeah. So generally, you're going to be sticking to this one. So um, the one thing to keep in mind is, again, I explained this, I think, in the second video, or part two, I don't know. Um, is the first EQ uh, should be analog, right, in your graph. First EQ, analog, uh, simply because uh, it adds color and it's pleasing and it sounds pretty cool. And then for your post EQ, you're going to want to have it digital so it doesn't add anything uh, after. So uh, think of the first EQ as colorization and the post as uh, reparative, right? So... Um, yeah, basically, uh, what you want to do is you want to use uh, different slopes. So, I guess a, a flat high pass to roll off uh, 30 hertz. And you can adjust this, uh, the intensity. Uh, I keep it like that, because why not? Typically, you don't want to use resonant, but brick wall is also a harsh cut. Uh, but, you know, not really needed. Um, you know, you can use whatever you wish. Um, Another thing I recommend is to notch out, you know, uh, a curve like this. If your track is having issues uh, achieving a balance, uh, for some reason this works wonders. Uh, just create this and then sweep it between, I guess, uh, 200 and 500. And it really cleans it up and it gives it like a separation. Uh, and it sounds really nice. Um, you don't have to boost, but it's always a good idea up here. Um, and uh, yeah, just to kind of uh, add some punch, because you know you're going to be taking away a bit with the, your dynamics, uh, unless you're using transient stuff, but you know, whatever, we'll get into that later. Um, and of course, you know, rolling off, but not as intense. Like you don't want to use like a harsh roll off for your analog side. You just kind of want to roll off it subtly, you know. Uh, you can use, of course, uh, a high shelf. So you can go analog high shelf and just kind of do it that way, right? Right, so it's kind of smooth, uh, but generally you can do it this way as well. Right. Uh, for your post EQ, again, always digital. Well, it's always a good idea. And this is for kind of reparative uh, stuff uh, or boosting in a in a linear way, which is the advantage of digital EQ. Right, so we added some bass here. Um, another thing, this is uh, this is a scientific term, uh, and it's a technique called giving it tits. Uh, so when you kind of boost this way around here and here. Um, always equally, uh, it looks like a woman's or a man's breasts, and uh, this is a good way to add um, things back after all your processing. And it's a it's a common technique in house music. Right, giving her tits. Um, they're actually very nice looking. Uh, I guess it could be like ET maybe or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, that is uh, our post EQ uh, tips. Um, you know, you can always uh, play around with your mid side as well. Uh, and that's uh, kind of altering the stereo image. Another tip I should say is you always want to um, uh, pass uh, you always want to like clean up the low end, take away a lot of the, the low end of the side material. So that's selected here, uh, just to make the starting image a little more, bit more cleaner. Right, and that way, you know, like a subwoofer is not stereo. It's always summed to mono anyway, and this will prevent, you know, like phasing of your bases and all that unhappy stuff. Um, you know, matching and snapshots. I've tried and it hasn't really worked out for me. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, 
So again, yeah, EQ analog going into EQ digital. Uh, it's always a good idea um, with your digital EQ being more reparative and your analog EQ being a bit more enhancing or, you know, really offy. Uh, it's always a good idea to roll off below 30 hertz and to do like a high cut here because it's shaved off with your MP3 anyway. And it adds headroom and it prevents sizzling and bleeding your drums. Um, that, yeah, that's basically EQing. Um, I'll be back, hopefully, with more videos. Take care.